Hello everyone and welcome to our next lesson. It's 2.6 day one graphing piecewise functions. 2.6 is going to be in two different lessons. Day one, obviously this one. Day two coming up tomorrow. But the notes are going to be the exact same for both. So make sure you don't lose the notes. Keep them on you, especially for tomorrow as well. So what we're going to be doing with piecewise functions is we're we're basically graphing two different lines, two functions, except it's only going to be pieces of them, just parts of them, hence the piecewise word there. Now we're going to be erasing a lot today, so make sure you don't do this lesson with a pen. Make sure you get a pencil with a good eraser, because there's going to be a fair amount of erasing today. So it's not too difficult. First of all, with this one, we're going to do this one in class tomorrow, so don't worry about anything on this one. We'll do this all in class tomorrow. So we're going to start on problem number two. When we look at this, it's not difficult, but the, not the notation is a little bit weird. f of x equals x if x is less than 0, and f of x equals 2 if x is greater than or equal to 0. So what's going to happen is you're going to do this in two different steps. You're first going to do this part. If f of x equals x. So I'm going to write that off to the side. f of x equals x. And what you might want to do, f of x is another way of saying y. So y equals x. Okay? Let's graph that. y equals x plus 0 might be a way of saying it. So you have a y-intercept of 0, and then you have a slope of a rise of 1 and a run of 1, because the slope is 1x. So now with this, we draw a line. What I like to do, though, especially with this lesson, is make sure you continue the slope for all of the grid paper that you have. So just go up one over one with all of the grid paper that you have, and you could fill up this whole thing. So here's the line y equals x. And now, I probably don't even need a straight edge. I could just connect these dots with a line. And there we got our made. Now I'm going to pay very close attention to this. This is called a restriction. So I'm going to look at that restriction and say, ha ha, x is less than 0. So if x is less than 0, that's all I want. I only want the x values that are less than 0. So I'm going to erase everything that's greater than 0. So 0 is right here. I'm going to erase everything that's greater than 0, because I only want what's less than 0. So erase that part, class. You graph the line y equals x, but you only want the that line when it's less than zero. So there you have it made. And I made a mistake. Rats. What you need to do here, class, is if x is less than zero, if it's less than or greater than, you use an open circle. If it is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you use a closed circle. So right here, this tells me that x is less than 0. It's not less than or equal to 0. It is less than 0. So that's what we have for that top section. Hopefully that makes sense to you. We graph the line y equals x. We erase everything greater than 0 because we only want what's less than 0. And we're going to have an open circle right here at the origin because that tells us it can't equal 0. It has to be less than it. And now we're going to do the other function. So it's going to be this one right here f of x or y equals 2. So let's graph the line y equals 2. y equal is a horizontal line at 2. So let's draw a horizontal line right there at 2. Now I'm going to pay very close attention to this restriction again. This restriction says x has to be greater than or equal to 0. So I don't want anything less than 0. I want when x is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm going to take my eraser. I only want what's greater than 0. So I'm going to get rid of everything that's less than 0, which stops right there. I only want what is greater than or equal to 0. So if it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to put a closed circle. I had an open circle with this one because of this. I use a closed circle at this one because of this. I hope that makes sense to you. So we're going to use a closed circle for the green line and an open circle for the red one. And that is what I expect from you on problem number two. Problem uh, Tomorrow we're going to talk about the domain and the range, but for now I want you to graph both of those lines and then afterwards do the restrictions. Let's practice another one in problem number three. So h of x, g of x, f of x, it all just means y. So we're going to graph y equals three. 
y equals 3. All right, so we're going up to 3. 1, 2, 3. y equals is a horizontal line. So there we are. Once I have this, I look at my restriction and say x is less than or equal to a negative 1. So I only want the x's that are less than a negative 1. So everything bigger than a negative 1, I'm getting rid of. So this is bigger, 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 bam. There's negative 1. So as you can see, negative 1, that x value is right there. So I only want what is less than that or left of it. So I'm going to have an open circle right there because it's less than, it's not less than or equal to. And there is my function for the top part. Let's do the exact same for the bottom part. We have y equals x plus 1. So let's graph y equals x plus 1. It has a y-intercept of 1. And then it has a slope of 1. So we're going to go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, so on and so forth. Let's continue that slope for all of the graph paper that we're given. And there's our function. Let's now pay very close attention to our restriction. We want it when x is greater than 1. So graph y equals x plus 1 if x is greater than 1. So we only want it when x is greater than 1. So when x is 1, that's like right here, I only want everything bigger than it. I only want everything to the right of that. So I'm going to get rid of everything to the left. So when x is 1, that is right there. I'm going to erase everything that's less than it, and I'm going to keep everything that's greater than it. Okay? Now, it's x is less than 1, which means it's an open circle right here and not a closed circle. So that's what I expect from you on number 3. And now we are done. Okay? Why don't you guys try number 4 all on your own. Pause the video. Try it by yourself. So you should have graphed the line y equals x plus 2. So we have a y-intercept of 2, rise of 1, run of 1. And we have our line. And our restriction, if x is less than or equal to a negative 2. So I want to keep everything less than a negative 2. So negative 2 is right there. I want to keep everything left of it. I want to erase everything to the right of it. It's less than or equal to, which means if it's equal to, it's going to be a solid dot there. Okay, make that obvious. Make that a nice solid dot. Do the next thing for f of x equals 3x. So y equals 3x plus 0. So a y-intercept of 0, rise of 3, run of 1. Rise of 3, run of 1. So we have our line that looks like this. Now we're going to pay close attention to our restriction. We want it when x is greater than a negative 2. So when x is greater than a negative 2. So negative 2 is down here for our x values, and we want what's greater than it. So we really want basically this whole line. We just want to get rid of this arrow right here, because you, you don't want what's left of a negative 2. And it's going to be an open circle. Hopefully you did that. And that is what you should have got when you did it all by yourself. All right, last one, problem number five. Once again, you guys try this one on your own. Afterwards, check your work with mine. So you have y equals 4 minus x. I'm going to put this into y equals mx plus b form. So it's actually y equals a negative x plus 4. Now that's easier to graph. We're going to go up 4. And it's a slope of a negative 1, so down 1 over 1. And there's our first line. We draw it, and then we pay close attention to our restriction. We want it when x is greater than 0. So let's erase when it's less than 0. So x is less than 0 here, 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 here. But right there is when x is 0. So we're going to keep that, and it's going to be an open circle. Hopefully you got that. And now our second line is going to be y equals a negative 2x minus 2. A negative 2x minus 2. So go down 2. And then our slope is down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. And hopefully you got a line that looks like that.
and we want it when x is less than or equal or sorry just less than zero so you want to get rid of everything greater than zero so here's an x value greater than zero here's an x group value greater than zero so on and so forth until right there that's when x is zero it's going to be less than that not less than or equal to so it's going to be another open circle and this is what you should have got for problem number five so that's going to be our assignment now. You're going to graph piecewise functions just like this. Graph the first function, then erase using the restriction. Graph the second function, then erase with the restriction. Let me know if you have any questions with that when you get to class tomorrow.